Hello and welcome back again to another installment of page two on the artist's corner here uh, with your friendly illustrator Mr. Dave Joyner. Uh, I'm sorry for the amount of time it's taken to get this particular illustration finished but as I had said before this one is a complicated one. Uh, hold on a minute. There we go. I'm dropping my pens. Okay well we are coming back in here now and we are going to bring the trusty number two D Dixon Ticonderoga and we're going to start some uh, shading to and I will uh, continue the process of pausing while I do this I'm back again and I just thought I'd come in here really quick and talk about pet ownership. I've got a little doggy here who apparently has no desire to become the doggy of a famous YouTube artist. Instead, she would rather nosy-wosy my elbow and make me mess up my art, trying to get me to realize how pretty it is outside so I can walk her, since that's all that matters to her is her and her walks and her her food and whatever she wants anyway we will bust out now with this micron 05 and we're gonna come in here and do this you'll see I'm actually going to uh, I'm trying to decrease some of the uh, amount of black work as we get towards this horizon I want there to be a graduation, sort of, from really dark black down here to this lighter area up here. You know in the past I've, I've talked about how you can kind of overdo an effect. Well, this is one of those times where less is going to be more. We want this idea that she's going to a location that's dark and scary coming from the light. So the best way to portray that is by not being uniformly dark and allowing the uh, yeah allowing this area here to stand out as very dark and this area over here to stand out as much lighter so we can come in here and we can still define this zone and that still is uh, that looks pretty cool but we will probably leave out some of the heavy darks. Yeah, I like that. It looks good. And, and I think that now that I've explained it to you, you'll see what I mean. Although many of you, if I had not said that, you might have looked at this picture and just thought, oh man, that looks cool. But not understanding the, the, the depth of, of, uh, of uh, control that went into not doing the same effect over here so we've got a totally different thing going on anyway I hope you're enjoying it all right you guys well as you can see here for this page I'm about to finish um, it's turning out pretty good I will go ahead and post this and I will uh, also take a photograph of it and you can see that too on on my Facebook I hope you've enjoyed this page, and I'm interested to see where she goes from here. And if you are unhappy with this, you can go ahead and let my doggy Paris know, because she is really being awfully pushy about this going on a walk thing. So, you guys have a good afternoon, and I will be back with another tutorial, page three, and we'll get to see where this little girl has decided to go in the woods. This is kind of a scary one. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying it. I will be back with another one real soon. We will go ahead and say that this, my friends, is actually about it for this illustration. And I hope you enjoyed it. And now I will be back with another one real soon. And Actually, we're going to go ahead and addition in just a little bit of black. 
and I'm going to go ahead and work that in <coughs> with the smaller pen and then I will be done with this illustration and I will see you all again back here at the artist corner for another one real soon.